Corey Rumor is standing by. We love Corey. Corey, how are you? She, she works on Fridays. Great. I totally work on Friday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good morning, friends. How are you? Corey works every single day. Corey, I was going through some of these state fair foods. I don't know if you go to the state fair or thinking about going to the state fair. Uh, Minnesota, they have spaghetti and meatballs on a stick. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know, I actually interned at the newspaper in Minneapolis, the Star Tribune, uh uh, in the early 2000s, and I got to go to the state fair, and I got to put together a guide for that state fair. They have an incredible state fair. Yeah, they do. It's huge. And you know the part where they take the dairy princess and carve her head in butter? You know the thing I'm talking about? There's a, there's like a big, there's a big yeah. freezer where they have the dairy princess and they carve her head out of a block of butter and they also have blocks of cheese. They did my head in a block of cheese <laughs> when I was on the radio there. And then we did live shows there and had people with crackers eating cheese out of my head. <laughs> Do, what kind of cheese okay. did they use? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, probably a cheddar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I learned something about the butter cow at the Illinois State Fair yeah. uh, last year. They reuse that butter year after year after year. I don't know that that's a good thing. Sure. What do they freeze it? <laughs> Oh. And, you know, and I just and, and I just got back from Florida. I'm not sure why sure that, that this is an Illinois thing. Illinois State Fair alligator on a stick. Oh, why, why, we, why, why, why is it why, the why, Illinois State yeah, Fair? Yeah, why do we have that in Illinois? Isn't it, is it is it real alligator? I think it's just chicken. <laughs> I mean, you know, take and that up. Telling take, you it's alligator. Take that up with the alligator. Um, <laughs> Ouch. All right, so uh, we have a big anniversary that none of us knew we were celebrating. You Cub fans must be going nuts because the Cubs are almost in first place. Nobody saw that coming. But it was only 35 years ago that what happened, Corey Rumor? The first night Major League Baseball game under the lights, 8 8 88, oh, 35 wow. years ago today. 8 8 88. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Okay, so I have a short quiz about it. Go ahead. See how much you guys might know, okay? Okay. Okay. So let's see. The Wrigley family purchased a lighting system, believe it or not, in the early 1940s for Wrigley Field, but it was never installed. What happened to derail those plans? Was it A, Major League Baseball players decided to strike? B, the Bears, who were sharing the ballpark at the time, wouldn't allow it? Or C, the bombing of Pearl Harbor? What do you think is the right answer? Oh, I think it's World War II. I mean, they're always talking about shutting lights off in World yeah. War II. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh, my gosh. I can't trick you guys at all. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Well, how much did they pay for it? $185,000. Can you believe it, Steve? <laughs> I wouldn't buy you one bulb today. No. <laughs> but then that was a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, so we ran something in the Tribune that said Wrigley, P.K. Wrigley had ordered this whole system and decided instead to donate the equipment to the Department of Defense following the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And so after that talk about lights, you know, nobody really said anything because there were more important things going on. Only okay, took fine. another 40-plus years for it to happen. <laughs> and then you remember the first night they were going to do it, they got rained out. They had to come yeah. back a second night. <laughs> they had yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. All right, number two. Okay, after World War II, there was there had been an understanding with the Wrigley fa- family and the neighbors of Wrigley Field that lights weren't going to be a thing. What changed that unofficial agreement? This was now in the early 1980s. A, the family sold the team and ballpark ownership. B, Major League Baseball officials made them add the lights. Or C, Harry Carey said he'd look better under the light. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I'd like to say C, I think it's when Tribune bought the bought the team. Gosh, I can't trick you today. You're exactly Good. right. Oh, see, wow. I would have went with Harry Carey. He looks so much better under the light. I would look better. <laughs> 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 kind of what started the whole movement against the Cubs getting light. I think the, the the group's name was Citizens United for Baseball and Sunshine or Cubs. So, yeah. All right. That brings us to the third. And if you were listening a minute ago, Steve, you had a spoiler alert. But after all, it took a lot of politics, a lot of amendments, a lot of losses. And finally, the Cubs were able to turn the lights on for eight games during the 1988 season, the first one being on 8-8-88. But something happened to prevent the game from oh, being yeah. completed. I'm going to go with rained out. <laughs> You're exactly right. It was Sorry, I stepped out. on that. I apologize. Oh, you didn't even know it. But you gave us some good history before yeah, the history lesson from Corey. Oh, 
Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I was not there for that game. I was a little too young. Was, were you guys there at all? Or do you remember watching it? Um, wait, well, yeah, I was a thing. I mean, I was 20. Six, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't there, but I remember. I remember it was a thing. It was all yeah. over the news. Yeah, it was a big deal. Huge. And I think I, if I remember right, there's a video of Harry Carey and Bill Murray somewhere. They did kind of like a pregame. Oh show yeah, you know what? We, we actually have a clip. You want to roll that? Far away. Oops. Let me hit the Stand by one second. All right, now far away. Hello again, everybody. Harry Carey at Wrigley Field on this noteworthy night, indeed. Eight eight eighty eight. That's the date. And this bud's for you, Bill Murray. I've been dying under these lights until you handed me this thing. It's such a pleasure to see you, especially on a noteworthy event like this one. Well, I don't know how I feel about night baseball. It's great in the minor leagues, but it's someplace else to go in town besides your restaurant, which is a good thing. <laughs> how about that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> and Bill Murray working area for free dinner and a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted a beer.